Hey everyone. Um, I have working, been working on my game slightly. Um, I haven't had very much free time, and that's because I'm in high school and I'm testing out of classes. Um, and I'm actually testing out of Geometry B because I'm a freshman this year and I don't really want to take Geometry, which is a sophomore class, because there's lots of stupid sophomores in it. So I'm going to take Algebra 2, and I'm testing out of Geometry B so I can take Algebra 2B. Um, and my test, I got my books a week before the test, so I'm testing like crazy for that, or not testing, but studying like crazy for that, because I want to, well, it's not that geometry's hard, it's just I want to make sure I have everything that I need to know. Um, but I've been, like, I've been trying to save up some of my free time so I can actually work on this. I've gotten a little bit of it done. Uh, like I said, I'm going to kind of drop the level editor for now until I can figure out exactly what I want to do with it. Um... I'm going to kind of show you, because I haven't really done much with it, but I kind of got excited yesterday because I finally got something done. Um, frame rates increased slightly, even though I'm um, running a video right now, it doesn't work as well. Um, like every once in a while, there was a bug where it would go down from 60 frames per second and I also got it so that it wasn't like because before it, I set the frame rate limit to 60 and it went through like 65 and stuff and I couldn't figure out why um I just found another way where basically it gets the refresh rate of your monitor and then sets its refresh rate to or not refresh rate but sets it um its frame rate to that so it updates with your frame or with your monitor and um Got it, so when you press play, new, there's a little player and he moves with gravity. Um, and then there's terrain. And if you notice, there's a little tiny block of terrain. That's because that's where I clicked for my um, pressing the um, new button. Um, so you're able to pretty much just draw on terrain. You can walk around on top of it. I'm going to make it so you can actually like walk up a certain level of pixels. Um, slightly laggy because of the video but it's usually really smooth um you can draw in as much terrain as you'd like and it just collides with it and you can't go any further um except you can go through it and i did that kind of on purpose for debugging purposes um and you can go through it when you're going up so that's kind of nice um but you can just draw in as much terrain as you'd like. Originally it was one pixel each, and that became really annoying to draw in as much terrain as I want to. So I just have to make it ten times that size, and now there are just ten, bo ten by ten boxes that I'm able to just draw on, and I collide with all of them. Um, it's basically just stored in a vector, and then it gets the position, and then it renders it. Uh, I am going to make a better like terrain like class later possibly. Um, I don't know. Um, what I am going to say is that uh, because the terrain is smaller than the actual width of the player, that made lots of problems for me. Uh, it was. Because I'm, I'm used to uh, all, like because of all my older games I've had before, it was like a platform was like that, where it was really big, and um, that's really easy to make collision detection for. You just basically have to check this little corner right here and make sure and see if there's um, if you're on top of that, and then check this corner over here if you're on top of that. For this, it became a lot more complicated because there's multiple different scenarios that you can go through. Um, it's it was hard. Not really that hard. I spent like half an hour on it. Um, but that's just because I kind of wasn't really in the zone for programming at the time. I was just kind of like, I need to get something done. So I did it. And now it works. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you're wondering about my picture of my guy, um, don't worry because my graphics are going to get much better because I have a friend from school who's really good with drawing pictures on the computer. He's making something for me. Um, that's my nephew, sorry. Um, but once I get this, uh, like, once I get the game better, I'm going to... One second. Alright, I'm back. Um, 
yeah, sorry, that was my nephew. He, um, I have my 360 in my room, which is what he likes to play a lot, so he comes in here and tries to play it. Um, uh, there's a couple other things I decided that I was going to do. My campaign, um, I don't remember if I've actually told anyone this or not. Um, I've been kind of talking, because I have people at school who just kind of like pitching in and helping me with my games and stuff. Um, one guy, um, I basically just kind of gave him an idea of, or an outline of what I have so far for my campaign. Um, he added a lot to it. And I basically just told him that because he has really good ideas, he can just basically plan my game and make the storyline for it. And we came to the conclusion that we're going to try to make it as long as possible, which is probably maybe around 72 hours long of campaign. And it's basically going to be divided into three different layers. The first layer is going to be like the first, like it's going to be divided into thirds, not layers. Um, the first third of the game. Uh, it's going to be fighting, like, just around the world all over the place, um, like, I don't know, um, it starts out in Russia, then it's, you're going to go to a whole bunch of different places, and then, um, the second third, you're going to be flying in a spaceship in outer space, and it's going to be all over the place, like, it's going to, um, like, it's not going to be, like, crazy, like, aliens on Insta, but it is kind of getting slightly ridiculous because of flying in outer space and shooting and stuff like that. So there's going to be a spaceships you're going to be able to fly in. Uh, I'm going to be excited to programming that. Um, you're going to be um, in satellites. Well, not like satellites, but like space centers. And there's going to be people in there that you're going to have to fight. And it's going to be pretty cool because it's going to be in low gravity. Um, you'll be able to like, uh, kind of like that Call of Duty level in Modern Warfare 3 where you're in an airplane and it starts free falling and you basically just kind of fly around the cabin uh, while attacking enemies which is really cool so I'm gonna kind of make my game like that um, and then the last third which this is going to be really fun um, the last third is basically like my friend he's coming up with a lot more of it but there's going to be lots of random little tiny hints throughout like I guess kind of like throughout the whole campaign not hints but like little tiny secrets that you can do um like you'll be able to do certain things in the game that will help you out um which are basically optional so you don't have to do them if you don't want or if you don't know about them you don't have to do them but it'll definitely make the campaign a lot easier and uh, in the last third, we're really going to push this as much as we can. Where there's just going to be lots of random things that you do that are going to really help you out in the campaign. It'll make the game, the levels a lot easier. Um, like there's going to be like resurrecting people um, who are dead to help you, and they'll basically beat that level for you or do certain things for you. Um, and let's see what else. Um, oh, like the last third. Sorry, I keep getting distracted because I keep remembering things. The last third is really going to be awesome. Um, we haven't even come up with nearly as much as we want to, but there's going to be aliens. There, It's just basically like the whole, the whole game. You're going to be on Earth, then you're going to be in space, so you're going to be like going through doing certain things, trying to achieve things. And the last third is just going to be complete bullshit. It's going to be amazing. Um, you're basically like, you're going to be going through the levels going like, what the fuck? It's just going to be beautiful. Um, like, there's going to be aliens. You're going to be fighting on Mars, probably. Um, there's going to be lots of communists. I like communists. Well, I don't like communism, but I like fighting communists because, I don't know. Um, but my friend Will, he's... Uh, I can't describe him. Uh, he's really awesome. He definitely likes to voice his opinions, and one of the things he likes to voice is his political ideas and whatnot. So there's might be a little bit of that involved. I'm gonna try to make it so that like I'm gonna go through and filter and make sure that nothing's going to be like really offensive or anything. It's basically just going to be really funny things. We're going to be um I don't know uh, um. I don't know. Um, that, I'm kind of starting to wrap it up. This video is getting a little bit longer than I wanted to, but um, the campaign is going to be really long. I'm hoping that people invest so much time into the game that they're um, like in the campaign that when they get to the last third, they don't just rage quit because the ending is going to be amazing. Um, 
depending on what happens in the end, I might make a second game that kind of continues the storyline because I don't want to make the one game storyline like too massive because 72 hours is already pretty long but I guess it just there's no really way saying that you have to spend exactly 72 hours of storyline um because someone who's really good can spend maybe uh, like half that I guess if they're really good at this game and then there's gonna be some people who are gonna spend like 126 hours or something um because they're not used to playing games on the computer or something I don't know but um, if we're gonna try to make it really long and 72 hours is basically just like an estimate um, so if you were following my game and wanting to see more of it um, just subscribe uh, it means a lot and it shows me that people are really interested in the game um, if you want to try to like just play some of the random stuff that I do I can um, like send a comment or a message me on YouTube and um, I'll like dot raw it or something. I'll like um archive it or I'll package it into like an actual like installer and then I'll send it to you and then you can just kind of play the little like mini demo version of what I'm making so far, um just to mess around with it, um but don't worry about the graphics because I have a friend who's making the graphics. It's, he's really good. Um, so he's gonna make that and then the storyline is well on its way. I'm I already have like the first two or three hours into it doesn't sound like much when you compare it to 72 hours but there's definitely a lot going on in it so I don't know I don't want to just sit here and ramble on the whole time but um it's just kind of like an update because I haven't been putting out updates as much because I've been really busy with stuff so I apologize for that um so like my test for geometry is on Thursday uh, after school so after I take that my free time will definitely increase and with that substantial increase in free time, I might be doing some more StarCraft too. So it's not going to 100% be going into my game, but I definitely will be adding a lot more to my game. Um, so that's it, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in this game, uh, just subscribe, I guess, and send me a message. Um, I love to talk to other game developers out there. So uh, if you're a game developer, uh, I'd love to talk to you, I guess. Um, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Bye.